identify shit all the time. That's what I do. I talk to random objects. Like, okay. Yeah, what's up? Chair. I'd like to sit on you. Don't do you like that? That's cool. Baseball. You're a pervert. <laughs> um, all chairs are perverts. <laughs> We're built that way. This is called Uncanny Valley. And if I mention you in this, uh, get over it. Okay. Texas is a rodeo where all the bulls are dead, but the cowboys keep riding. Nevada is a sink where constellations go to slit their wrists. Downtown Reno still glows with the evidence of the last time Orion felt suicidal. When the old Sands Casino collapsed in on itself, tourists who had not escaped the building in time were catapulted across the desert like moist argyle water balloons. <laughs> their green plastic sun visors buzzing through the air like wings of horny dragonflies. I hope that Santa Fe frames my mother's heart better than those overpriced nature photos that it loves so much. Boulder is the Santa Fe of Colorado, with less shitty southwest art and more white people. When the 100-year flood returns, melted glacier water will rush across the flat irons like God was hawking a loogie through his teeth, and its citizens will ride their yoga mats down the front range like granola surfboards of freedom. <laughs> Salt Lake City is an apartment building with a spider infestation that's owned by arachnophobics. Only instead of spiders, it's gay people. <laughs> it's true, there's a huge gay population. It's not like it drives the Mormons crazy. Anyway, okay. Albuquerque, I promise to hold you until the fire burns out and never complain about your bad breath. Tell your eye, you made me an alcoholic and you gave my dog cancer. Houston, like Tyonisis and the Saxons, I will never go out of my way to meet you and don't tell Indianapolis, but I was thinking of someone else the whole time. <laughs> Phoenix has an eating problem. Portland is Seattle's know-it-all little sister who went backpacking across Europe for a semester and came back with an attitude. <laughs> Spokane is the cousin they never talk about, the one with the drinking problem and lots of shitty tattoos. <laughs> New York is the most popular girl in class, the one you didn't realize had a crush on you until after graduation and now she's with someone else. Binghamton, New York is a war vet holding a cardboard sign next to a freeway entrance. Park Street Station in Boston is like my grandmother's hands. It smells funny. It's like my grandmother's house. It smells funny. It's full of medical professionals, and it's always 90 degrees, even in the wintertime. The worn brick floor looks like the palms of her hands. Some nights, after drinking too much Cambridge, I wind up there, crawling on my hands and knees, and apologizing for sins I do not remember committing. Hmm. Thank you.